Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by Kay Scott. I make my living right here out of my home in Bradford, Ontario, painting and restyling found and thrifted furniture. This week's video is gonna be yet another awesome free Facebook find. I saw this ad pop up in my marketplace feed and I knew I had to have it. So what I picked up is actually a two piece dining hutch, but I'm not 100% convinced that the top and the bottom were originally meant to be together. The size is very different. The backboard on the top shelving unit and the backboard on the bottom credenza piece are completely different materials. And I don't know, they just looked kind of awkward together. So I went ahead and split up the pair. I'll be focusing on the bottom buffet section in this video. So this cabinet obviously used to have some doors and they look like they were rather unceremoniously removed or ripped off, I should say, and there is quite a bit of damage from that. First step, as always, is a cleaning with my heavy duty TSP. You always want to remember to go back with a clean rag and some plain water to remove any soap residue when you're finished. Since the doors are missing, I'm not going to need these magnetic catches anymore, so I'm going to add them to my hardware stash. To fill in these really large damaged areas, I'm going to be using some of this epoxy wood putty. It's a two-part product that you mix together and it's sort of like wood play-doh. I forgot to put my latex gloves on while I was working with this and I regretted it. It is quite sticky and toxic. Gloves are definitely recommended. While I'm waiting for that epoxy to set up, I'm going to sand the interior of the drawers just to freshen them up and remove any ink stains from the previous life of this piece. This epoxy takes approximately one hour to cure, but because I used so much of it in a concentrated area, I let it sit for three hours. I then went back with some 80 grit sandpaper, which is quite coarse, to grind down any excess and recreate those sharp 90 degree angles that would have been on the original piece. I also gave the rest of the piece a quick scuff sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper. I 
I then switched out my sandpaper one more time to a 150 medium grit sandpaper to remove the original finish and stain from the bottom skirt and legs of this piece. I recently splurged and bought myself a fancy Surf Prep 3x4 electric ray sander. The thing that I really love about this sanding system are these foam pads that allow you to sand contoured surfaces without compromising the shape. This medium grit sanding pad was the perfect way to strip sand these curvy legs. And as always, I removed any sanding dust that was created with a damp rag. I'm going to be using my favorite Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer to prime this piece. Two coats of this primer is going to give me really good stain protection for any wood tannins that want to leach up where I've sanded through the original finish. It's also going to seal up the porous wood filler that I use to make my repairs. To paint this piece, I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum Chalked in Country Grey. I'm going to do the bottom skirt first in a paint wash. You've seen me do this before in previous videos. I mix a tiny bit of paint with a whole lot of water and brush it over a bare wood surface as a faux stain. And now I'll use my HVLP pneumatic spray gun to spray the top of the dresser and all of the drawers with that same country gray. I do always thin my chalk paint when I'm spraying with some water, but it's not really a precise recipe. I'd say it's probably about three quarters of a pint of chalk paint and one eighth of a cup of water. You should probably also mix your paint up before you add it to the hopper and definitely filter it before you start spraying. My pour and shake technique is definitely not the proper way to do it, but it gets the job done for me. I went ahead and applied three coats of this paint to the top portion of the dresser and all six drawers. Apparently I completely gapped on pressing the record button for the protective portion of my furniture flip. I did go ahead and seal this piece with three coats of Varathane diamond wood finish in satin, which you can see me do in 
pretty much all of my other furniture flips. I don't even know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't thinking about YouTube. I have been totally crushing on this Wise Owl furniture salve to revive any old wood drawers lately. It just brings the wood right back to life and leaves a beautiful scent behind. I use a brush to apply the salve all over the interior of the drawers and then I wipe off any excess with a lint-free rag. Let's take one more quick look at the before of this piece and then I'll show you guys how it all came together. Pick me And that wraps up another awesome furniture refresh. If you love a good old fashioned furniture flip, please be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I will catch you guys next time.